Alright guys, uh, I just bought this crew cam uh, about a few days ago, I think last Thursday, today is like Sunday, three days ago. And I used it on a project and then all of a sudden it disconnects and then two days prior when I got it and I tested it was all good with connection. But then when I uh, took it on a project and then I wanted to shoot 360s uh, for my projects and all of a sudden it disconnects and I couldn't connect and I was uh, really pissed off about the QCAM 8K so it uh, yeah it wasn't a very nice experience you're doing a project and then your gadget fails on you and uh, yeah I couldn't connect it back for whatever reason and even like after it came back home I couldn't connect it back so I was really pissed off so I'm, I'm gonna uh, use the uh, seven days policy. I'm going to return this product and um, uh, It's not just about this uh, this connection I have problems with. so I, I made an actual list of stuff like within a few days that I had experience um, There's some issues that I already already know by uh, my my research uh, prior, but then uh, you know it came uh, Became more obvious when I used it for instance, like you can only use like a one second exposure, but not longer. They're working on this, but then this is su such an what a basic uh, function for somewhat professional photography. You know, or you can do only one second. That's ridiculous. And they don't have a simple bracketing uh, function in, in the software. So in general, I mean, the software is just like feels like very cheap, like uh, PC. Androidish, like it's it's just not very smooth in general like using a software and yeah felt I don't know it felt kind of felt cheap kind of like because I'm a Mac guy so yeah due to the inferior software I think um, I uh, not a big fan of the software and what else on the list and yeah also like I realized that when you turn on the the camera and then just like the, the fans start spinning it's so loud it's just like you know it's 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 irritating because turning it on I mean it's it hasn't heated up yet so it's supposed to run normal but then right right off the bat when you turn it on it just starts heating up and then just it's so loud and it just feel like you, you can feel the heat you know it's just I don't know, just little things, it's just really annoying. And I haven't really tried the DNG8 uh, functionality, but it felt like it's kind of like a gimmick because apparently, you know, you shoot eight exposures and it reduces the noise and stuff, but I'm, 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 I'm not sure. Um, so, my, my first one was the, um, that I purchased was the Insta360 ONE X. And it worked actually in terms of software and how it worked pretty well. But then I realized the uh, the sensor size was a little small and then the resolution that came out was just, you know, yeah, simply not enough for my, my use. And so, but uh, but it's it's very handy, it's small, and then it's just the functionality, it feels very professional in terms of like the interface, you know, you can change the battery and stuff and just very simple functions and the software is like really awesome stuff but it's just like lacks of resolution you know image are not very clear uh but any um, but yeah i needed something better than in terms of resolution but that's i hope they can come up with a better um uh resolution but i think with, the problem with uh, qcam is that i think that lack of experience in terms of uh software and the hardware feels like a little it's still cheap i mean they probably maybe they still need some uh, development uh, uh, research and uh, development on, on this in this uh, 360 camera thing so i decided to return hopefully i can get the money back and uh, um, my next step is to for my projects i'm gonna be probably ordering the uh, Ricoh theta uh, z1 I was hoping a, uh, the uh, Insta, what is this, the uh, Insta360 would come out with a pro version, uh, like a enhanced like sensor and stuff, like better resolution, but um, so far I think 
from what I know in terms of research that I've done is I think the Ricoh Z1 is the best. So I'm probably going to replace this. Uh, so I'm, I hope I can get the money back and then uh, I'm going to get that uh, Ricoh. So that's it. Uh, peace out.